it's happening in New York, New Jersey, or Long Island. Hear about it with Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The Answer. Lisa Lampanelli is um, a legend at this point. She is, She's not going to want to admit that, but she is. She's, oh, I'll admit it. I am. <laughs> I'm terrific. I'm fantastic comedian. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Grammy-nominated stand-up comic appearing in this brand-new play that everyone is talking about called Stuffed. Yes. I love you on stage in a play. Did you write this yeah, play? Yeah, I wrote the play, oh. and it's a four-person play, so there's three other broads and me. And, you know, I got to admit, I'm going to get a Tony for this, even if it's not eligible, because it's going to be so... I'm like the Hamilton of Off-Broadway. I tell you what, my tickets may be half the price, but I don't care. I'm fantastic, Joe. I'm Italian. You know, all that, and yeah, I know, and you're so funny, and the last time I saw you, we chatted, you were so cute. You, and, so, and you're so warm and wonderful, you know, but it's like the Howard thing. You know what I said? When yeah, Howard, yeah. You know what, Howard, on, on Mike, it could be like, wow. Right, and then, right. And then, but off Mike, he's such a man. You're such a sweetheart. It was at the Jerry Lewis Roast. I was roast. just going to say, Remember it was that? at the Jerry Lewis Roast. Remember that? The things I said to those guys. Oh, you, you know what? I love Jerry because I was the only female comic he invited yes, to do that because yes, he hated women comics. Yes. And he goes, oh, you, you're funny enough to go. And I was like, you know, Jerry, definitely. I said, Jerry, don't worry. It's almost over. I don't mean the roast. The guy has a heart attack the next day. Thank God he didn't die or I would have had to blame myself. He did. He had a heart attack. Rest, yeah, rest yeah. in peace, Jerry. We love you so much. Oh, my gosh. I remember that. Remember? Remember? remember and then Pat Cooper got up. Oh, he's bad. Cooper, Cooper got up and he looks at De Niro and Scorsese and and he go and all the big guns were there. Yeah. I, I don't know Pacino or something like this. He goes. He goes. Bobby De Niro. He goes like this. Nobody cares. Yeah. That, <laughs> oh. Is that the best one? Oh. Pat Cooper can say No one knows who you are. Well, I love Marty. The, remember all oh, the uh, Lord. Sopranos were there, and yes. I said all the Sopranos are here, or who they usually call uh, Scorsese's bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But that was some roast. I mean, that yeah. Friars Club gets some Belzer, fire. Belzer was there. great. Oh yeah. my God, Belzer. So and then funny. Gilbert gets up. Then Gilbert. Gilbert gets Oy up vey. and he just does it just to irritate everybody. There's yeah. every profane thing you could possibly yes, say yes, yes. that has no has no relevance to the to right. what's going on. Right. Just to offend people. Yeah, like he goes into the aristocrats <laughs> joke at a roast. It's like, who yeah, cares? Yeah, yeah. I'm considered a clean comic next to Gilbert Gottfried. You know what I mean? You are great, but you really are uh, one of the t- tell me and your background, your background, you're from Yeah, I'm from Connecticut, but I've shaken oh. off the classy edge. Wait, 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 but there's yeah. a lot of Italians in Connecticut. Oh, right? definitely. Like by Enfield around that area. Where are you from in Connecticut? I'm from in Fairfield County, so we were the black people. <laughs> yeah, my family was black. So, no, it was so funny. I have an Italian mother, and that's where this whole play comes from is because it's about food and eating. Oh. Joe, I have oh. lost and gained 372 pounds throughout my life. You know how much that is? That's 17 Sarah Jessica Parkers. <laughs> So I had to write this play because I go, I've had food struggles. I got to talk about this, but it's uh, the Italian mother, appendix. Joe. Am I right? I had my appendix out, so that was fun. It hasn't bothered me till like right now. <laughs> oh no! I'm laughing. You got me laughing so much. Oh I love good. It. Hopefully your spleen will fall out by the end of this. It'll be nice. <laughs> this is great. So this is so funny. So what? Made, now you're on. You're doing stand up all the time. You're, right. You're revered, and you do a lot of these roasts. Right. So also you say, I'm going to go on off Broadway. That's a tough task. You no doing eight kidding. shows a week? Eight shows a week? Yes. Oh. Well, you know what I said to oh. myself yesterday? Oh, well, what? Well, didn't I appreciate my life? I worked Friday, Saturday for an hour. <laughs> what am I doing eight shows oh. a week with three broads That's with egos? Great. But you know what it ends up, Joe? I joke about it a lot, but I love the play because it's very funny but emotional. And I'm like, you know what? We're helping everybody who feels like they're alone in these struggles. Who do you not know that has food issues? I mean, you're Al. Look at Al. He's a mess. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing Frank will be bursting out of that suit pretty soon. I mean, come on. Look at this guy. His house was the original Olive Garden. That was his... <laughs> That was the nickname for his mother's private parts. I mean, these guys oh, night, are not skinny. Tip your wages. Yeah. <laughs> Try the veal. No, but who doesn't have food Try problems? the veal. <laughs> there was always an owner that yeah. would tell you. Yeah. The waitresses. Don't forget the waitresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tip the waitresses. And, and the Try veal. the veal. Try the veal. <laughs> I'm here all week. Yeah. Is this thing on? But yeah, I was, I was, I'm old. I was before... When I was at the Improv, were you playing yeah. the East Side uh, Comedy Club? I was at yeah, yeah, Comedy Cellar, also downtown, oh, hip, and Stand Up New York. Then you got the Comic no, Strip. That's because you're young. I never, yeah. The only one I never played with is Dangerfield. It was a little too rough even for me. It I was, said, you right? know what? Let me stick with these other ones. But is it true? Because Ronnie would tell me he would get roughed up sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I don't need to get beat up. They told me Rickles <laughs> used to get beat up as an insult comic. I don't need that. Oh, I'm right. a freaking lady, Ove. <laughs> 
But you're right. I never played Rodney's either. Though. No, it's no. still there. It's still doing great. You I know hear. what's weird? They never close down these places. I with iconic names. Someday I want to be so famous that they have a Lisa's. And what you do is you walk in and I sit at that door, my old crippled self when I'm 80, and I insult you on the way in. Don't you think that'd be a fantastic I love thing? That. I love... I'd come in and be insulted. Did you go by to the me? improv thing with the Bud Freeman the other at the Friars Club? Did you go to that? Oh thing? no, no. I know. I I I got like two emails. I need like ten to remind me. Oh, also, Joe. Let's be honest. The guy had a monocle. I don't want to prove of that. I, I wear two glasses or you're not on my radar. That's how Lisa Lampanelli feels. I'm very famous, right? Right, semi-fat Frank? <laughs> Frank just is on that tipping point between he could be cute, but it's probably not going to happen. Thank you. No offense. No, hey, you know I'm a beautiful no, woman. I'm terrific. Yeah, no, he's yeah. doing great. He's doing great. Well, let me ask about Al. Al, you're, you're, oh, oh, you're I like ahead. a big guy. Big guys are great. I am great. a big guy. I dated a 400-pound guy once. You did? I know. I know yeah, him. Frank D'Amico. Big I, Frank. What a nice guy. The greatest ever. He used to say to me, because these, you know how Italians are when they're fat, yeah, they yeah, have to yeah. have something else to offer. Yeah. So he'd always think he was mobbed up, and he'd go, oh, don't worry about it. I'm connected. I'm like, yeah, you're connected to a fork. <laughs> this is what they're connected to. This is, reminds me of Al. Now, Al, I notice a wedding ring. Yes. And I'm dying here because how am I not married and this thing is? No offense. Alcohol. That's, your, that's what happens. See? You get the people drunk. Uh, that's it. That's what happens. Joe, this that is what cancer. happens. Oh, no, so, what? Yeah. Okay, you had it? <laughs> had it. Survivor. Yeah, of what type? Uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oi, vey, now I have to feel guilty. No, I no, don't. No, don't feel guilty. Absolutely well, it's funny. Not. You're the only guy who gained weight on chemo. I did. <laughs> Oddly enough. See, this is the thing about big people. We can joke oh, about this. I God. used to weigh 248. Yeah, yeah. Kept yeah. my weight off. I lost 107. Kept it off five years. Wow. I tell you, I'm a beauty. I'm a terrific <laughs> yeah. gal. I'm getting younger every year. That's why I'm dressed in a weird Justin Bieber t-shirt. What happened to me, Joe? What am I turning oh, back time in my chair? Everything I want to say to the guys. Thank you. I, I have try to, to keep it I real nice. Be insulting. I hope you don't. Well, I hope you don't. Uh, you don't no, take me you seriously. Me, no. I'm no. talking to Al. I hope you don't. Frank, I hope you take me seriously because you're a little bit of a weirdo. I don't know. I get the impression he's staring at my ass in loving ways, oh, boy. which I don't enjoy. Stop I'm undressing sorry. me with I'm your sorry. eyes. I can't control Remember it. in the old days when Call, I was... my, call Dr. Vinny Boombots, please, by your appendix is acting up. That's your doctor, too? <laughs> Dr. Vinny Boombots, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So when you started out at the comedy show, that was first. That was first you wanted to go up? Yeah. And you're from Connecticut? Well, no, guess in? what I did? I was smart enough to stay out of the city until I was half decent, so people didn't remember me as stinking up the stage. Oh, So look for at seven you. years, I did the road first, moved into the city, and they're like, oh, where'd this one come from? Yeah. And yeah. I remember, this is how conceited I was, Joe. I'm of course, I've learned my lesson since when I auditioned at the comic strip, Lucian, there was a really hardcore guy, Lucian, Lucian who Holt. wouldn't let you play Lucian Holt. He was yeah. tough. And Rest he said to me, in. well, I uh, I see that you do blue asides and this and that. I go, thank you. Like, I'm acting like it's all a compliment. <laughs> and he goes, why do you think people like you? And I go, I don't know. There's something about me that's special. I'm like. Sinatra. I say I'm like Sinatra. Said, People want to come see me again and again. He told me years later, he goes, to have the guts to be at your level and say you're like Sinatra. I said, I got a letter before That's here. it. That's I it. Think, I think truly misplaced oh confidence God. can help you get ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very true. It's very tough. But to step on those stage, you know when I walk into a club now, yeah. Lisa, I get the same feeling I had, the anxiety. Oh, really? Yes. When I walk into a club and I go, and I remember when I first mm. walked, it was, it was the most petrifying thing to do to walk up in that comedy club, wow. you know, like the improv, and then the comic strip, and the Catch right. a Rising Star was over there. Oh, sure, sure. At the time, you know? But isn't it funny how it kind of never ends? Like with the play, mm -hmm. I that's where more I get that little butterfly, because I got these broads backstage, right? And I always make them run lines, acting like, oh, I know all the lines, but I'm helping you guys. It's really for me. You, how am I supposed to remember? It's a freaking script Damn. what happened to the old days when i used to just yell the c word but you do like to run the lines i do that all the time Joe, we have every to. play every night eight shows a week i'll yep. run my lines yep. every day i'll take a moment and go over the script like the music like tonight i gotta do when i do the thing on friday i'll yeah. be rehearsing the whole show in my head do, right. you don't do that though when you're live, Not, live well with stand-up i'm more you know an insult comic so basically what i do is i'll tape every show because it's all ad-libbed yeah so i go yeah. then i'll take a bit if it works and i'll like hone it and yeah, yeah, have it again yeah, yeah. But, dude, I love the idea of just going off on people. There's just something about me. I got that combative thing. You think thing. you'll break out of uh, the stuffed? Oh, my God, this? dude, it happened to me last oh. year when there was a short run of the show. I can't do it again because there were four broads talking. Broads. I'm very offended <laughs> at these women talking. Uh, during the show? Yeah, I kicked them out. Oh. And 
I go, and you know, I'm a big shot, so I got to be a big mouth and go, oh, don't worry, ladies. I did this play to make people feel better about themselves. I go, get out, and I'll pay you your money back. You know, and it cost me 800 bucks. I said, never again. Talk through the whole show. Have a good time. Have a drink. Bring your Cinderella's bag and crinkle. You know, it's horrible. Fire up the phone. We don't care. Yeah, what's wrong with me? But, you know, even last night, two people walked in late. I said, let them just sit. I'm not going to be soaked for another 800. But this, like, cracks me up when people would, like, talk in a theater. One guy, when I, I'm so clean on stage. Yeah. Like I said, when you come on here, I was surprised and pleased, and we're very yeah. honored to have you here. Yeah. But I said, is Lisa going to be okay? Because oh, sure, sure. You, you know, with the language, I of never course. say, but one guy talking on the phone. In front, it was at one of the, the Connecticut the casinos. Yeah. And he's talking. Talking on the phone, and they stop. And so we joke about it. Oh, why don't you talk in the middle of my show? Yeah. Oh, here, say hi to the guy I'm talking to. You've gotten that. I take oh, the phone. Oh, of course. Hi, I get the. He ta- again. He starts with the phone. No. Third time. Give me the effing phone. <laughs> Good Give me for the phone. Take it down and try to hold the phone for. Joe, I'm telling you, sometimes they don't even understand that that's not fun for yeah, us. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, what's funny is there's a couple. Uh, talk about I'm clean on the air, but boy, you guys go to the YouTube's and check out a video of me kicking a woman out of a Vancouver comedy show. It is oh, the funniest thing ever. Oh my god. Twenty minutes and everything you ever heard in your life on this one but you know what they deserve it i'm a, a big celebrity you know i got i gotta get plugs in uh, oh Lisa. you're so nice get stuffed is are you opening tonight uh yeah opening officially tonight we had our you're going on stage period. tonight Oh, yeah, sure. And, and you came in this morning That's like how this? I am, Joe. I'm a trooper. You know what? You are a trooper. Yeah. We're honored by that. I'd be whining and complaining and saying, can I just do a pre-tape? Oh, can trust I do a pre-tape me. Right no, now? no, no. Trust me. I'll be whining and complaining when I get out of here. I'm going to call Frank and make him miserable. He's going to be sad he got me his number. No, but I, I uh, you were going to say about this Get Stuffed. I got a yeah. podcast I just started. Yes, I'm going to talk. Get Stuffed, and I'll tell you why, Joe. Look at me. Look at the fantastic life I have. I'm a fantastic woman, talented, rich, beautiful. So I give people advice on this show. Because, Joe, can you imagine? you got to be able to take tough love if you call my podcast. Get stuff with Lisa Lampanelli on iTunes. Because, Joe, don't you imagine that I have some great advice for people? You are one, You look great, by the way. I do. I'm a tasty piece, as they say. And I want to dispel one rumor, Joe Piscopo, if I may. Please. And I will keep it clean, oh, as you know. Thank you. Ever since I got the shaved sides, the lesbians are coming, uh, sniffing around. And I have this to say, I'm not a lesbian yet, but by the time I turn 60, why not jump onto that boat, baby? <laughs> yes. Hey, Lisa's got to do what you got to do. Al's giving you that break sign. Al, don't be a big shot over there. If he don't want to do the news. Uh, <laughs> the news. No one can, gets what the news is. Lisa has a play at the West Side Theater. Go to StuffPlay.com for tickets. What ha- could have happened other than Stuff Kevin Spacey S- in the news? T- oh, no, God. No, is that crazy? Oh, my God. I oh, my can't... God. Oh, by the way, Joe, yes. real quick, I know Al's being like that anal guy who has to keep you on track. But I got one last thing to say. I threw a nice Harvey Weinstein joke into my play. Oh. You got to keep the current. Am I right? Don't yeah. you feel that way but about But can your you show? tell the joke on the air? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, not here. <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a podcast that nobody listens to, I'll be free, free, free to say those words. Lisa no, Lampanelli. Joe, I got to tell you something. In all honesty, this was an honor for me, and oh, I'll tell you why. You were nice to me at that roast. Oh. You're a gentleman now. Oh, I hate Al. <laughs> and Frank should die. <laughs> But other than that, I like everybody, even the Latino. Is that a Latino out there? He's a black man. It doesn't matter because I love him either way. I love you, my brother. Call him back. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, you got to come back anytime. I love you, We're going to come to the show. Can we come to the show? I, I would be honored. <laughs> Listen, we can go to lisalapanelli.com. Right, and stuffedplay.com And we for can tickets. all bring our phones. We're going to talk on the phone. Oh, my God, absolutely. I'll call your wife for you. <laughs> right. We'll, we'll do the radio show from the <laughs> yeah, 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 from the theater. We love Perfect. Lisa Lampanelli, I mean, God bless God you. God bless, thank oh, you, you're, you're the best. And now, Big Al Gatula with the head <laughs> News on AM 970, the answer. News, opinion, passion. This is AM 970, the answer. 50 degrees at 941. I'm Al Gatulo with local news first. Here's what's going on. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano says there'll be a curfew for kids under 16 on Halloween. He says children 11 and under must be home by 10 p.m. Children between the ages of 12 and 13 need to be back inside by 10.30 p.m. And finally, teens between the ages of 14 and 16 have to be home by 11 o'clock. Spano says the reason for the curfew is to keep kids safe on Halloween. The mayor says there are exceptions to the curfew, including if the child is accompanied by a parent or guardian, as Joe Piscopo and Lisa Lampanelli try to distract me. Asbury Park is set to vote on a new short-term rental ordinance. I'm very ticklish over there. She's tickling love handles. She is tickling <laughs> The guy's got love handles. Thank you. He's got a muffin top and a camel <laughs> top. Everybody knows this guy. No, everybody knows he can do a radio show. Joe Piscopo. 
Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The answer.